guys i said that <laughs> i have clothes for the day for people in niger i'm going to bed so that i can wake up early and go to work but guess what guys i cannot sleep without dropping this video because right now after the eviction night guys something just happened it was a shackle whereby they were discussing about relationship <laughs> Asking myself, these people are they mistakenly taking Bibra and Niger like an ultimate love, or they are taking it as somewhere you can come and sip, or somewhere you can come and get a boyfriend or get a husband? I'm not really getting it. Why are these housemates bother about shipping people? Bother about whom do you like? Who do you like? I don't understand. It's getting pissed off right now because they are there to showcase their talent as Ebuka told them but they are not really doing it. Because as at now, Nenji, Prince, Tochi, they were having a discussion and then Tricky T. They were having a conversation. I can say that this is a heart to heart conversation because everybody was trying to say your mind. But what I'm seeing right now, eh, if this thing continues, Nenji and then Watano, they will have problems. That's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm smelling. Because Nenji is in love with Prince. But yet still, Nenji couldn't know what she's supposed to do. Why? Because Nenji is not here for any relationship. That's what I'm seeing right now. Nenji is here to win the money. Nenji is here to strategize on how to win the money. But I don't think she is really in for, she is really in for relationship. Because as I'm seeing, I know she likes Ozo. She also likes Prince. And then Ozo is not really that forthcoming because even at the eviction when Ozo was talking about Dorati, Nenji was not happy. So Ozo, I don't really know what he wants. Nobody knows for now. I think he's a playboy but he's not playing the cards very well because he's trying to put himself in a situation whereby he cannot come out of it. So this conversation they just had was, Tricky T was asked, whom do you like in the house? Saying that, okay, me, I don't like anybody, cha. I'm just cool, I'm a low-key. So Nenji was asking, what I know, whom do you like? Ah, uh, I, you know now, based on our last discussion on Sunday, me and Kitwire, the energy was good, the vibes was good. So Watano was eyeing Kitwire and that was the reason why she was comfortable literally to kiss Kitwire yesterday night and Erika was not happy about it. And Nenji deliberately chose Kitwire for Watano to kiss. Why? Because Nenji said that two of them were on board. It was Prince and Kidwire. She said that the reason why she chose Kidwire is because Watano is comfortable in kissing Kidwire because he has a liking for Kidwire. No, 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 no. Nenji, Nenji, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna buy this idea because I know that you did it purposely because all your eyes are in Ozo and then Prince. So Watano is trying to give you the green light that I love Prince, but Prince is not forthcoming. Like, I think even if Prince like Watano. I think Prince will like um, Nenji more than Watano because Prince said it yesterday in the garden that I like you. And then Nenji said I like you too because of you are competitive. It's not competitive. It's because of the relationship matter you guys are talking about. But you guys just want to confuse us. I don't really understand again what is really happening. So the problem that is going to happen here is going to be between Rosie and then what's her name again? Rosie and then Press Stoker because they were friends. But when they came to inside the house, they had problem because of a man. So Nengi, if she is not careful with um Watano, they will have problem because of a man. And it doesn't and it's supposed not to be. They are here to showcase their talent. This is a one lifetime chance. They have to grab it and make money. They have to grab it and come out with good names. But right now, what they are doing is getting me like I don't understand them anymore. And then Kidwire came, they were asking Kidwire whom do you like and prince was saying that for me i like erica i like this personality i like that personality and the kid wire said hmm kid wire was just laughing they were just mocking kid wire teasing her. they were just teasing kid wire so kid wire i know that he is really involved into erica because erica was the one who started everything and then you know when a lady is so caring with a man the man will just see it as oh this is a person who has my time this is a person who who, who loves me this is a person who likes me so basically the man will come the man will come towards you so that was exactly what has happened and now erica and then what i know they are not really this kind of 
pers- they're, they're not really in good terms or in good vibes because I don't see them talking. I don't even see them sitting together. They're always in a far distance. And then you, Nanji, you had a discussion yesterday with Erika heart to heart and you plainly know that Erika is involved in Kidwire. Why would you choose Watano to kiss Kidwire? I don't understand girls again. And then Watano, I think the problem right now is Watano don't want to be a loser. But she doesn't even want to do something that people will say that, wow, you did you did that. But I think that if she can try her best to get Kid Wires, she will definitely do it. If she doesn't get Kid Wires, she will try and get Prince. And that's going to be the problem. Because Nengi is involved in Prince. And Prince is not saying anything about relationship. So that's the problem why she cannot plainly come and say that, okay, let's date or let's move on. I think what they are trying to do is a strategic. So that they can be strong enough. They can help themselves when it's time for eviction or it's time for anything. Somebody can be at your back or your backbone. I'm not seeing it like that because they are all thinking about love, love, love. Let them think about the 85 million naira. That's what they should be thinking about. They should not be thinking about who will see who, who will do this. I don't understand them anymore. What us, the viewers, should be doing? They are the ones doing it right now. And they are really involved in relationship, not game. So, in conclusion, that's it. I'm not really happy about it. And then, Erika, now, I went online yesterday. I have seen messages drop for Erika that Erika was intimidated with Nenji's beauty. <laughs> Guys, Erika's beauty and Nenji's beauty, they are all different. They are different. I don't even compare them because everybody has your own vibe, your own swag. Erika is a bad girl. Erika, Erika is just this bad girl. So, Nenji is somebody you know that she is beautiful, but she have a low-key action that people don't even see. Nenji is going to show us a lot of drama in this house. She's going to be the queen of highlight in this house. And she's very competitive. She even knows that. She's even saying that she's not scared of the arena games because she's always ready to give all her best. But others are there thinking of whom to kiss and whom to do this, whom to do that but for her she's focused in the game and they themselves they don't know it they'll be they'll be like sitting back and be seeing Nengi winning all the time because all their mind is how to sip someone and Tricky T was saying that okay for me I don't know who's gonna get my back if anybody nobody will put me as a deputy head of house and the Watana was telling Tricky T that no Kaisha can do it for you Kaisha can do it for you say yeah Kaisha Sha, yes so because Kaisha is cool with Tricky T so basically something like that can happen and as of now I'm doing this video I'm watching oh this girl Nengi is sitting beside also again so i don't really understand let them just be husband and wife okay and stop big brother niger because i don't understand what is going on again katrina she's not really involved in the relationship sha, for now but i know that she's trying her best to be herself and then lucy was attacked to um tochi but i haven't seen tochi saying anything about lucy again i don't know they were even sleeping in the same bed <laughs> Tochi, I don't know for him. Tochi is saying that he doesn't really want to drag because some people have already paired up. And for him, he has some people he, he has been eyeing, but <laughs> they have been taken. And then Trikiti was saying that, no, they are not married to anybody. You can take them. No, he said, no, I don't want to drag. I don't want them to see me as somebody who is a game player or somebody who is there to destroy. So I don't want to break the bond. Okay. Okay. This was the gist about this section. And the other section, they were also gossiping again. They were talking about V. Neo was talking to Ozo, talking about V. V is a London girl. V is nice. V is beautiful. Hey, now fine girl okay neo so you are into v because of the london id or because of the london the london id card or because of the london passport or the london citizen neo you have sense <laughs> neo was saying that he's saying that it has been a very long time for him to see this kind of attention from a lady so he's feeling like he's so honored so i think neo is trying to appreciate this relationship right now but before neo was not really seeing that but now i think the kindness v is focusing on him trying to be somebody who is close to him i think things has changed now now they are just trying to make themselves to be strong couples in the house and if they do it it will work for them because um v loves neo so so much and also was not also happy about what happened during the eviction night show because what I know just say that um, Nenji should have chosen someone. Nenji should have chosen someone. And Ebuka said who? He said Ozo. So 
this guy doesn't even know what he wants he said that now dorati is feeling so bad about it and then him he doesn't want dorati to feel like that because dorati is his best friend okay dorati is your best friend fine we all know she's your best friend and dorati is not this uh, problematic person i think so because she is not really doing any action towards ningi or to beef ningi or to create problem she's just cold she's just by herself with her cute face so you guys should just leave her out of it and nengi she knows what she is doing and she will play the game along with you so i wish you all the good luck i think so because i'm tired of all this ultimate saga because it's not big brother niger anymore okay guys this is all i have for you guys and take care good night bye